The information that I found out while researching boat insurance was absolutely staggering. Many of you know that I have a website, thebassfishinglife.com, as well as this channel, and I put articles up there all the time. Well, I was doing some research for an article actually on insuring fishing equipment, but I also researched some boat insurance questions I had as well, and the companies that I talked to were Allstate, Geico, State Farm, Progressive, and Country Companies. So I talked to five big players in the insurance world and I could not believe some of the things that I found out and I wanted to share those with you today. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and mark down what these companies have and do not have for the reason being that it could change tomorrow. I could post this video and 24 hours later their policies change. So I'm just gonna talk about what I found and then I highly suggest you get a hold of your agent and ask them some of these questions so you have the absolute best coverage for your particular fishing and lifestyle. None of us wanna have our boat get an accident and realize we're out of luck because something was not covered properly. The very first thing I want to talk about is stated value versus actual value. Most of us are aware that our items that we purchase, cars, boats, whatever it might be, depreciate over time. And traditionally in the insurance world, if you have a car, you get in an accident, they will go ahead and cover whatever that actual value is. So if your car is depreciated down to $3,000, that's what you're getting. Well, the boat insurance world works very similar, except for one thing, and that's called stated value. When I was doing my research, I ran across a company that would insure you for stated value, and I actually switched companies because of this. So I was able to write down what I feel it would cost to fully replace my boat. So if I get an accident going down the road, something happens on the water, this company is going to write me a check to replace the value of that boat with a brand new boat. That was huge. I couldn't believe it. And the cost difference between a stated value policy and an actual value policy was only a few dollars a month. So I made that switch right away and I feel so much better knowing that if something happens on the interstate, I'm gonna be able to get a new boat exactly the way I want it because that's the coverage that I'm paying for. Now, out of the five companies that I talked to, only one had stated value insurance. As a matter of fact, when I asked that question to some of the other companies, they had no clue what I was even talking about. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna break down which companies have or have not because that could change at any time. But if you have specific questions, go ahead and email me, steve at steverogersoutdoors.com, and I will go ahead and let you know some of the details of what I found. The second thing that I found out is that on several different insurance policies, the trailer is not covered under the boat insurance. It had to have its own separate insurance line item you had to pay additional for trailer coverage what a shocker that would be if you got in a wreck on the road your boat was covered but the trailer wasn't so definitely check with your insurance agent and find out make sure that your trailer is covered we assume it's covered but it may not be now this third thing that i found out was really interesting out of the five companies that i talked to actually talked to agents only one of them considered items bolted to the boat and i'm talking shallow water anchors trolling motor electronics only one company said that those items were insured under the entire boat policy the other four companies said nope you need separate line item for your electronics separate for your trolling motor separate for your shallow water anchors could you imagine if you needed to make a claim and they said well here's enough for the boat but your shallow water anchors trolling motor and none of your electronics are covered that's tens of thousands of dollars so four of the companies said if it's added to the boat it's not covered only one said if it's bolted to the boat, it is covered. So once again, that is something supremely important to check on your policy. 
The fourth thing to consider, and it's not a surprise, is that none of the companies consider your fishing equipment, your rods, reels, tackle, that type of stuff, as part of the boat policy. That needs to be insured separately. And for most of them, I got quotes for $5,000 worth of coverage. It was anywhere from $30 to $60 for an annual policy. Now I know that $5,000 is not much. I mean, you could just have that in rod and reel combos. Um, for example, I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff to work on uh, punching down through some mats and stuff. Some of these single tungsten weights could be 10 to $12 a piece. So it's not hard to hit that $5,000 mark, but definitely make sure that you've got that particular policy uh, for your rods, reels, and equipment because it's not going to be covered in most situations under your boat policy. What did I learn from all this? <laughs> well, odds are most of us are not insured properly when it comes to our fishing equipment, boat, trailer, and all the accessories that we have. I am so glad I was taking the time to research this article because I changed companies and changed my policy to make sure that I'm covered properly. And the other thing you may wanna do is really find an agent that understands fishing, boating, that type of stuff. I talked to several agents and they didn't have a clue what a trolling motor or a shallow water anchors are. Well, if they don't understand that, it's going to be hard for them to insure it properly. So do some checking around and make sure that you find somebody that's familiar with our sport. And hey, if you're in the market for a boat, and if you want to watch a video on things that you consider before buying that bass boat, make sure you go ahead and check this one out right here. And don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.